Hi guys, this is days 91 to 101 and we have done it. But just before we do get started, my next goal is 20,000 subscribers. So if you did want to support the channel and help us get there, go down and subscribe now. Or maybe drop a like instead if you're already subscribed. It does help massively. Thanks guys, now let's get on with the video. Okay, we have awoken on day 91. We got the fire roaring, so we got a nice 28 degrees inside, which is bloody warm actually. Put that bad boy out. All right, I think we better get some food maybe somehow. Is our weight looking at? actually 79 okay yeah get some mres in yeah let's actually open another box as well we got five boxes <laughs> keep a couple of them on us let's just bring the old mappage up now i think for the next 10 it's going to be a pretty calm 10 days i think we're so close there's no point risking it all but we probably will actually come down to this area again and maybe go along this way this time yeah i think that's what we're going to do so let's just crack on let's do that today get us out and about just have a look what's down there explore a little bit more the gate's still holding up which is good no more to bash Around. We've probably cleared them all out to be honest. Oh, where the hell did all of these come from? Okay, we better deal with these so our travels down here are a lot safer. Let's get to work. Probably gonna need some beta blockers actually. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Where the hell did they all come from? All right, let's try to spread them up around this building here. Oh, okay. Well, there's still some over here, so let's go and deal with them. All right, well, let's uh, carry on. Good Lord, there is a lot of them. Get out, get out. Come on, let's go to work. Let's actually get the machete out, I think. Go oh, there is a lot of them. Oh, we could be in a bit of trouble here, you know. Oh, God. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Ah, maintenance, are they nice? Let's take him around the building again. <laughs> Could do with a shotgun around about now. Oh God, there's more of them up here. Oh, right, well, that's, oh, there's more, there's more. They pushed us back a right old way. Looks like the Jeep's clear though, which is good. All right, let's actually rest in the Jeep for a little bit. There we go, right. Oh, I can still hear more. Yep, here they come. Oh, right, okay, well, let's get exploring down this road then. There's still a lot of them, so probably be a couple of days of clearing out, I think. Oh, okay, wow. Yeah, it's busy down here. Yeah, there is so many. Look at them all. Oh, jeez. Okay, so it looks like we got a hell of a lot of them down there. So I think it is 20 to 3, so we probably head back for the day, I reckon. Yeah, let's head back. Let's not push our luck. It's been pretty close down here, to be fair. We've had a, a lot more than I was expecting. Then I suppose we've not come down this far in quite a while, so we should probably clear these out, to be fair, as well. And we have got a load of them back at base now, so we will just throw that down there. See you later. All right, well, we are home, safe and sound. What else we got in here? We got any other machetes that are good? Could put a metal scrap on it. I think we'll be fine, though, to be fair. Oh, these are quite good, yeah. They're actually... No, I think they're the same as the one we got. Uh, let's put it on our belt. How's the old weight? 79, that's fine. We could probably have... Uh, we'll have an MRE, but we'll wait until before we get to bed. All right, it's 11 o'clock. Let's... Yeah, let's grab an MRE in us. Tomorrow, I think it's going to be a base day, actually. We're going to chop down some trees for some logs to put in our fire, because that's probably got to be running out now, isn't it? Ah, uh, 14 hours, okay. But, yeah, that's the job for tomorrow, so we'll... Uh, we'll see you then okay day 92 yeah it looks like the fire has actually gone out so what we're gonna do today oh what the hell am i doing in this room what we're gonna do today is go around the base get a load of logs and stock up i think oh and look at that it's foggy as well perfect let's get the old wood axe let's go chop some of these trees wait do we have logs down there uh no we don't okay that's fine all right we got a hell of a lot of logs we've got 16 logs so hopefully that should uh do us a while anyway let's chuck them all in and see what how we're looking all right so we have 110 hours that should do us <laughs> all right let's get this fire going oh there we go look at that right we're gonna go to bed tomorrow i think we're going back into the city there we'll see you then okay day 93 we have awoken let's turn this fire off so we don't waste our lovely precious logs there we go have an mre out of here i think oh this water dispenser is empty okay well we got through one of them that one's still nearly full what about this one and that one's got a fair bit in it as well okay we'll definitely have enough to last us the the rest of the uh days i think anyway all right let's get down there let's get 
killing some of these bastards. Hopefully some of the corpses may have despawned. No, they have not. <laughs> Can't actually remember what I set the corpse despawn to, actually. I normally do it lower than default, but I can't remember how long. All right, we are down. Let's deal with these bastards. Oh, God, where the hell did all these come from? Looks like we got some sheds down there, but it does look like there's a lot of zombies around there. Oh, they're coming over anyway. Okay. Yeah, let's go and have a look in these sheds, see if there's anything good in them. Oh, it's bins. <laughs> um, well, okay. Doesn't look like we'll be getting much from here. Pretty cool, though. Love the detail. Camping canteen in here, maybe? Nope. We will rest in the car, though. Okay, let's go down here and see what we've got down this bit. Oh, wow, look at this. Big old construction site here. Right, let's try and get onto the main road and keep pushing east, I reckon. Maybe we get a camping canteen from in here? No, a lot of money in the glove boxes. So many bloody zombies everywhere. Just check this old station wagon for a canteen. Nope, we'll rest up here, though. Oh, we got a soldier up here. Interesting. Let's go and have a look. Yeah, he's got a lot of military stuff on him, but where did he come from? That's the question. Oh, uh, we're going to start getting tired soon. Okay, I think we head back for the day. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's not risk it. Let's not risk it. We've made progress. We could probably drive down a little bit further as well next time we come down here. Yeah, we'll clear up any stragglers along the way as well. All right, so we're back in the Jeep. Let's just get bloody home, I think. God, look at them all on this road again. My God. Oh, I've just realised that we've left a case of ammo on the seat, didn't we? Bloody hell. Well, we are home safe and sound anyway. 76239. It's a shame they don't give us any bloody good any ammo for the pistols. The ones with the suppressors. We do have the PKM that we still haven't used yet, haven't we? We do have a magazine. 76254. We do have three boxes of ammo for it. We do have a little bit of ammo for it. Maybe two magazines worth. But yeah, because it's, a, well, a magazine and a half. Do we take it down there? Well, we can't change the firing mode. Maybe Maybe we do. We kind of got to, haven't we? Let's be honest. Oh, we're very overweight, though. It does put us very overweight. Out of hell with it. We'll put it in the back of the car. We'll do it. We'll do it. Okay, but it's 20 to 12. We set up a little bit later today. We're going to light our fire. Here we go. Look at this. Look at this. Ah. Oh. Lovely. Right, we're going to go to bed. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay, day 94. We've awoken at 10 to 10, a little bit late in the day. Right, let's put this out, save our logs. How much fuel we got left? 90 hours. Okay, perfect. Now, I think today is going to be... Oh, have all the lights gone out in here? We lost all the bulbs, or is the generator... <gasps> Maybe the generator's blown up. Oh, no, the generator. It's blown up. No. Oh, no. <laughs> right, well, I think we're going to go find another generator. I can see one there on the roof. It's just, it. how the hell do we get up there? Right, okay. Well, <laughs> um, yeah, we probably should have been checking that. Let's see if we can get on the roof and go grab that generator. So there's ladders here for this roof. I imagine there is some for that roof as well. Oh, we may have to board across then. Okay, well, let's get some logs. But yeah, we can board. There's some trees here. It's fine. It's fine. Well, there we go. Didn't even think to check the condition of it, to be honest. Amateur mistake. Amateur. Okay, we need more logs. All right, well, we are over. <laughs> Let's get rid of them planks. Oh, bad little base up here. He's got radiator. He's got bed and everything. All right, let's grab this Jenny. There we go. I wonder if he was using the generator to power that radiator there. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Whoa, easy. Bloody hell. Where the hell did he come from? Jesus Christ. Good job we have fuel in this gas can here. There we go. How long has it got in it with that bit of fuel? 83 days. Okay. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. Where's this bastard come from? Where the hell? Did I close the gate? What the hell's going on here? Yeah, I closed the gate. They must have got through under the car over here. Let's go check it out. Okay, it looks pretty clear everywhere else. She got anything good on her? Antidepressant, don't really. We'll take the lighter, though. Okay, let's grab ourselves an MRE, I think. Lovely stuff. How is our weight? 79. Okay, can we get another one in us? Yeah, do it. Do it. Why not, eh? Right, let's get our fire going. Lovely. Right, we're going to get to bed. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay, day 95. Working up at 10 past 8. Not a bad time. Not a bad time. Put out the fire here. Save the logs. Oh, I think we're going to go down, down to the city. We're going to test out the PKM, I think. Don't know if it's a good idea, but you know what? I don't care. 
We're celebrating. Celebrating nearly hitting them 100 days. Celebrating not blowing our base up with that generator as well. All right, we are down here. Let's just check this in the backpack for now. So I want to get a quite far away from the car before we start shooting because this could draw a lot of the bastards to us. Oh, there's still a lot of bloody bastards down here, isn't there? Jeez. All right, you know what? Let's just get it out. Let's do it. This could be such a bad idea. I don't even care, though. I want to test it out. Oh, God. It takes a while to Ah, uh, it's, it's doing the job. <laughs> oh, we jammed already. Brilliant. And again. <laughs> Oh, it's jamming all the time. Okay, we're dropping it. We're dropping it. It is just jamming too much. Get rid of it. Go back to the old faithful hatchet. Might have to be the bloody machete, you know. Well, so much for uh, not leading them to our car. <laughs> oh, yeah, look. There's so many of them. So many. What have we done? We should be fine, I think, eh? You just gotta keep chipping away at them in PZ. And you gotta just bamboozle them with the cars so they all get stuck. Look at that, bloody idiots. Ah, the machete's gone, no! Alright, well, rip in peace, that axe. We've already repaired it. Let's get the axe out. We are a little bit exhausted, so let's try and get back to the car. It looks like we have dealt with a lot of them, if not all of them. Alright, we're rested. We've dealt with them. There's a few stragglers, but we'll make short work of them with a hatchet. Oh, we've definitely got to work down here, haven't we? Bloody hell. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, so we're down to these little shops, because I do want to have a look what's in here. A lot of zombies by the looks of it. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is this shop? A oh, bloody grocery store by the looks of it. Yeah, same there as well. Okay. Well, we should probably head back because it's getting a bit late in the day. All right, let's get the hell out of here. All right, we are home. Now, I don't know what we're going to do for the rest of the days we've got. We may just hang around base, you know, because getting into the city, we're not really making much progress, are we? And it could take, you know, weeks to actually clear it out and get anywhere. So, I don't know. Maybe we do some base improvements, you know. But it is half past ten. Let's get our fire going, and then we're going to go to bed. So, we'll see you in the morning. Okay, day 96. Let's turn this old fire off there we go how much wood we got in there we got enough 73 hours yeah we got plenty <laughs> now what i might do today is go and reinforce that little gate over on our east side there because yeah i don't really want zombies being able to get in there to be honest with you let's go get some logs and we'll probably build a fence around it i think and we got how many nails we got we're probably gonna need more aren't we oh yeah 100 nails should do us that's fine right let's get over there let's build a fence around something to do oh god this guy's still in here oh yeah bloody hell <laughs> amazing all right how are we gonna do this then i think what we'll do is i mean we probably should have done this before to be fair but let's chop the trees down quite good because there's not that many zombies up here which is working to our advantage that's for sure we put it there like that jump out here and then we should just be able to build a, a wall across there hopefully let's see shall we yes we can oh there's this bastard's coming through hey get out of it and there we go the entrance is secured. Yeah, we really went to town in here, didn't we? Look at this. I feel maybe we should let this guy out of here now. I mean, you know, he's been in there probably 100, well, nearly 100 days. So let's let him out. Come on, buddy. You're free. You're free. Hey, you're free. You're free. Lady, you're free. Come on. Come and see the outside world. Come on. Let me show you my base. Come on. Okay, look. You like the place? You like what I did with the place, lady? Well, you don't seem very enthusiastic, do you? So, well, that's how we deal with that. Oh, you had a can opener on you. Fair enough. <laughs> we'll grab all of these logs back here because, well, 
Never had too many logs. I mean, did we build some stairs? Mm, nah, there's not really much point, is there? There we go. We've added them to the fire. What we got now? 108 hours. Lovely. Okay, but it's half past 10. We're going to go to bed. Tomorrow, we may adventure out a little bit to our north. Just see what's going on in these houses up here by the river there. Or the sea or whatever it is. Probably the sea, actually, if there's a big freighter in it. But, um, yeah, we're going to go to bed. Let's turn this fire on, actually. But, yeah, we're going to go to bed. We'll have a little explore tomorrow. We'll see you then. All right, day 97. Let's turn this fire off. There we go. We also need to fill our water up as well because we are very low. Go, okay, let's grab ourselves an MRE, I think. Oh, we'll just hit another bulb go. Well, we ain't too worried about that anymore. We got snow as well out here, but that's fine. Oh, look at this, minus 34. But yeah, let's do a little bit of exploring up, up in these houses. We haven't really looked in them, have we? There could be some really cool ones as well. Like this one, potentially. Look at this. What's going on in here then? I know there's wheelbarrows and everything. Well, I don't like it in there. It's a bit too claustrophobic for my liking, to be honest. Got some lovely plants in this house. Not a bad little house, to be honest with you. Nice and uh, cosy. Oh, look at this guy. He's got a bloody trophy out the front there. Maybe he could be a hunter. Maybe we'll find some guns. Let's go in there. Gate's locked. I don't know if I really want to jump over, to be honest. Let's go have a look in this one here. Whee! Oh, well, they've broken that down. So he does a job. Okay, it's a nice, nice little house, this. Nice little barbecue set up here. I like it. Um, not a lot in here at all. all right, let's go to the house across the road, because it looks like they might have a swimming pool or a pond I want to check out. Oh, yeah, look at this. Look at this. They're living in luxury over here. All right, well, let's head back. I don't want to go further down there, because that's where that bloody car alarm went off, so... All right, we are home. Let's grab some cigarettes. It looks like we're actually out of cigarettes. Bloody hell. All right, it's 10 to 12. Let's go start that fire and go to bed. We'll see you in the morning. Oh, it looks like we got a bulb going here. Let's uh, actually, we'll change that tomorrow. The fire will give us a bit of light tonight. There we go. Oh, look at that. Very moody. Right, we'll see you in the morning. Okay, day 98. Turn the old fire off. Let's put some bulbs in our bedroom here. Oh, we could go like, oh, they're all white. I thought it was orange then for a second. Oh, what'll do? There we go. Look at that. We'll take this scrap wood and put that in the fire. Just why the hell not? Actually clean this up a bit as well. We never did anything with these magazines, did we? Oh, well. Also, these guns here as well. It's just absolute carnage down here. Maybe we do look at putting some crates there. I mean, these ammo cases take 34. Can we put a load of stuff in there, maybe? Let's try, shall we? Looks like you can. Look at that. Who needs bloody crates when you got... Well, these crates. How's this battered old beast doing pretty pretty bloody good actually i mean the trunk has taken a right old beast and the trunk lid how much capacity have we got in there now after all of this still 76 it's pretty good let's um looks like we didn't take the hood off of this no still in good condition well we'll take it take your windscreen as well it's not perfect but it's better than what we got there we go she's as good as new put them in the hood graveyard okay it's 10 past 11 we are going to grab ourselves an mre i think uh maybe we have another mre actually what we on 79 yeah let's have another one let's get that fire going okay we're gonna go to bed we'll see you tomorrow okay day 99 we have slept in very late today but it doesn't really matter as i say we are probably just gonna hang around the base i think for the next for you just to you know there's no point going out and risking the 100 day run for for what just to kill a few zombies down here i mean we probably could have explored more but we did get a load of cities i mean and this this took longer than i thought it was gonna be there's loads of little areas around though it'd be pretty good as a multiplayer server i think although the lag can be a bit of an issue in the city but yeah it's definitely been a fun one Old Ivan. Oh, look at this beard. We got to get rid of this beard. Hair. What did we? What did we have? The hair. I can't even remember anymore. Flat top. No, no, it was spikes. There we go. Let's get rid of this bloody old scruffy beard as well. Let's take his. Let's take his equipment off, shall we? Let's have a look at that lovely, handsome face there. Oh, he's a little bit, a little bit dirty. <laughs> we should probably look at taking off this, uh, this bandage as well. Yeah, I'm guessing we didn't get zombification from it, which, um, which is a good thing. I'm not complaining about that. Right, let's go give him a little wash. Oh, look at that, lovely and clean. Let's actually wash all his clothes as well. Bloody hell! Look at the difference that makes. <laughs> he was so dirty. How much water's in there? It's Forty. So, okay, what we can do is take a giant water bottle and refill them. So there's 200 in there, I think. Yeah, there was. Bloody hell. There we go. They should be a lot fuller now. This one should have... What's this one going? 194. What about this one? 
This one should be fun, actually. Yeah. What about this one? 140. Okay, so yeah, we got we got water for days. Look at the difference it makes as being clean. <laughs> Jesus. We should actually probably put this stuff on because it does give us some protection. Yeah. Especially the mask. Okay, let's have a quick smoke before we go to bed. And tomorrow, well, we're on day 100. We've bloody done it. Well, kind of, because we normally do run to, you know, day 101. So let's get an MRE in as why the hell not? Actually, have some maple syrup. Treat yourself, Ivan. We've bloody done it, pretty much. That's going to be pumping the calories. 80, yeah. Yeah, we may get overweight from that. Let's light the fire. Lovely stuff. We're going to bed. We'll see you on day 100. All right. Day 100. So we got to survive to day 101. Then we would have survived 100 days. So I suppose today we'll probably just go around the perimeter. Make sure it's all clear. Check our gate. So we got a bit of fog coming in. Yep. The gate's all okay here. And the gate's all okay here. Perfect. Okay. So it's 10 to 9. I have been stood outside all day. So I wanted to see what happens when we do get so cold i mean our body temperature is 22 and we are actually losing health oh yeah we're hyperthermic <laughs> Um, okay, right, well, we better go inside then. Never been hyperthermic. Looks like we're not losing health anymore, but that's fine. Let's go into our nice uh, hot fire room. Yeah, look at this. We're gaining it now. Lovely stuff. Right, well, we're going to go to bed, and tomorrow, well, we've bloody completed it, haven't we? We'll see you then. Okay, day 101. We have awoken. Let's, let's leave the fire running, you know. So we need to survive one more hour. So let's just fast forward a little bit. There we go. We've done it. We survived 100 days in progress. Project Russia. Three months, 10 days. As you all know, Project Zomboid month is 30 days, so 369, 10, 100 days. Wow, it has been an adventure. Let's bring the old map up and we'll go over, you know, where we've been and everything like that as we normally do. So, yeah, humble beginnings over here, which then led us to here. I really like this. It's probably the best base I've ever seen, you know. And I've ever had, I reckon. But we didn't really explore that much of the city, which is a bit of a shame. But there's so many zombies down there. It'd, it'd take weeks to get through it. But we did explore some of these little areas down here, which were pretty cool. Not that many military places. I mean, this place was carnage, to be honest. <laughs> Yeah, absolute carnage. If you go there, make sure you're either coming through this way. Looks like there's probably an entrance there, to be honest, though. Um, yeah, coming through this, this way uh, over here, so you have water. Or maybe don't take high first. This area was pretty good. I think we got a police station in there. Yeah, I, I, I regret not being able to get down in here, especially because it looks like there's an airfield there as well, and this could have possibly been some military barracks or something. But the colours... Oh, what was that? I reckon that was some kind of prison, you know. But the colours haven't actually been that accurate, especially with the city here. This was a bit of a nightmare trying to navigate and find stuff. There's probably some good weapon locations in here that we just didn't find, unfortunately. But, you know, it is what it is. This little island was pretty cool. It was really cool, actually. This, what I originally thought was an airfield, was not. It was just, uh, I think, a little town or something. Yeah, it was a little little town, wasn't it? And this was a warehouse over here. This, I'm guessing, is farmland, maybe? maybe yeah i feel like this is unfinished i could be wrong let me know in the comments oh uh, we never went over here either but uh, there could actually be something over here look at this and there's a bridge that could have been something mm. well it's food for four and this here looks pretty cool as well but you know it is what it is to be honest let's have a look, quick look over our skills uh, yeah we didn't really pump that many i mean axe we got to what no nah, four and a half which is quite nice this maintenance is good handy is such a good trait actually i'm gonna play with that more often i think because having the carpentry we didn't even really grind carpentry but we managed to get the levels which is nice because most places i'd be wanting to get carpentry to get onto the roof to put a rain collector the plumbing sinks obviously this run we haven't been able to because we didn't have rain and we didn't have the mod snow is water because i thought it might be a little bit too easy but we have found free water dispensers so you know make of that what you will so i'm an mre actually we got anything nicer no it looks like being mre have that also have a smoke as well ivan yeah mechanics we've grown quite a lot actually didn't we long blade as well but farming i think what well, we we harvested some seed bearing crops early on aiming was an absolute nightmare to grind and level three is pretty pretty useless with these weapons normally level three you're okay but with these nah maybe because i just use pistols around level three and not rifles but we didn't have many rounds for the pistols did we that was the issue so i mean with a higher aiming skill these rifles would have been more handy 
temperature we was at okay actually we didn't get hyperthermic until that yesterday and that's because i intentionally stood outside look at this fog and um, because i intentionally stood outside all day just to see so when you drop to around 20 you start getting that interesting so this was the easy version of cryogenic winter uh, mainly as just a test to see what it was like as i haven't done a run with it before but also i wanted it cold as we are in russia but i didn't want it too cold but you know it's good to know for next time so maybe if i do do a cryogenic winter run again we we'll probably Probably go for medium i think but we'll see we'll see now let's get on to the kills now long blunt how we're looking baseball bat 92 sledgehammer 2 okay bare hands 18 so 18 stomps is that it axes 2843 bearded actually i remember that it was two-handed though wasn't it and slow like a sledgehammer hatchets the one oh well two hatchets um <laughs> normal axe pulaski axe they're a bit slow tomahawk was good good range on that but we only found the one so many one on the pickaxe 301 on the hand axe long blade yeah machete Nice, 1,211. Firearms, this is interesting. So the shotgun, 84. Pistol, 128. AKM, 141. Tokarev pistol, 141. That submachine gun was pretty good, actually. The AKS 74U, 129. And the AS Val rifle, that was suppressed on PKM. We got 36 out of 100 rounds. So 36% hits. That's not bad. Well, 36% kills. That's not bad. And vehicles, bloody hell, 130. Well, there we go it has been a lot of fun this one it has been a lot of fun now there was lag issues in in the city which is i think it's just a mixture of the amount of zombies the weather the snow on the floor and also such high buildings it's kind of like that in raven creek to be fair but i think the snow just makes this a little bit worse but it's been a hell of a lot of fun that's for sure definitely check it out so we're probably gonna leave it there for this episode and this series now as always the mods are linked in the description as a steam collection so do check them out if you wanted to run any of these ones but yeah it's been a blast as always thank you so much for watching i hope you did enjoy watching it as i did playing it and we'll see you in the next one cheers just want to give a massive thank you to all of our youtube members but a big shout out to everyone on the shambler tier john smith rob jones 309 basehead akuna whiskey mcdaddy too cool norm slater sudsy 34 jasmina composition geek love nails and a coach in lunacy thanks guys really appreciate it